hey everybody in this video we are going to create this really cool uh, 3d phone animation inside hitfilm express um, so I'm gonna walk you through how I created this animation um, so yeah let's uh, create this animation inside hitfilm so the first thing that I did was I searched for some phone mockups and I was able to find this one this one had the front face of the phone and the back as well and um, uh, this was downloaded from svgstock.com I'll just put the link in the description of this video so you guys can also uh, use this vector image it's free to download and then what I did was I isolated all these all these uh, sides of these phones so this is the front face this is the back of the phone and then we have the middle and this middle layer is going to uh, help us create that uh, fake 3d that will give us the or animation that fake 3d um, kind of uh, feel to it so uh, then I just exported all these assets or all these vectors as PNG to retain the transparency and then I went on in Hitfilm Express and I just imported all these images so uh, let's just uh, drag them onto the timeline and uh, something like that and then I'm gonna search for scale and let's just scale all these down to about 75 percent like that all right and now we need to create a 3d animation so for that we will just select all these layers and click on layer dimensions icon and select 3d plane from here and now it will ask you to add the camera and then click on yes and then you can use the orbit tool or you can press B on your keyboard and you can just uh, rotate this you know and see that this is still a 2d image now to make it 3d what we have to do is uh, we need to push this back PNG uh, uh, so we need to push it back uh, into the camera or into the scene and uh, to do that we'll just click on this active camera and uh, from this drop down we'll select the top view and now we are looking at the phone the animation these images uh, from the bird's eye view perspective so uh, here we have our images so all are stacked on top of each other now we'll just select the back png image and then we'll select the selection tool now we can grab this uh, handle and we can just you know uh, move it back something like that it all depends on you how much you want uh, to move it back I mean you can if you want more depth you can just move it uh, more uh, as you like but uh, nowadays smartphones aren't that uh, thick so I'll just keep it somewhere over here and let's go back to our active camera and again use the orbit tool and I like if I just show you that we have something like that you can see uh, we have still something uh, hollow in between so we need to fill that gap as well so let's just reset the current view and uh, to fill that uh, gap so what we have to do is let's go back to our top view and we basically have to uh, duplicate this middle PNG image so we'll just right click uh, and click on duplicate or we can just press ctrl D on our keyboard and then we can just zoom in and you know use the selection tool and just put it on top of this uh, front PNG and again you will select these two PNG images the middle PNG duplicate them and again move them like that so again we'll just select all these PNG middle dot PNG images duplicate them again and again move them to the top and we just have to repeat this process uh, till you fill in this whole uh, gap in between these two lines the front and the back PNG basically so I'm just going to fast forward this video and uh, while doing this you might your hit film might uh, stop responding so um, that's it's normal so uh, what I what you can do is you can go to the options and you can change the quality uh, right here and that might uh, help you in creating this kind of animation 
uh, so that was just a quick tip that you can use but let's just um, continue you know filling in these shapes so I'll be back when I finish uh, doing that all right so I'm done now let's see what we have created so far so let's just go back to our active camera view and let's just change the resolution to full and now we'll again let's just hide the full plane and also hide the motion path and let's again use the orbit tool and you can see that uh, we now have that gap filled in with these uh, PNG images so that's basically uh, how we can create this fake um, depth in your uh, 2d plane images so now if you want if you not want more depth you can obviously go back to the top view and you can just grab the grab the back dot png layer and you can zoom in and you can just move it back make sure your section tool is selected and you can just move it further back and create more depth and just have to again duplicate these middle dot png uh, layers and you know fill in this gap uh, so now I'm going to bother about that so I'm just going to say I'm satisfied with what with the results so uh, so let's go back to our active camera view and then we will reset the view and now all we have to do is create some animation so let's go to the top and create a new point layer we'll call this controller and we'll select all the layers at control A to select all the layers now hold the control key on the keyboard and uh, click on the controller layer and on the new camera layer so now those two layers are unselected or deselected and then we can just uh, click on this none button and just basically parent it to the controller layer now all these uh, layers will be parented to the controller layer and now the change that we'll uh, make in the controller layer will also be affected on uh, all these layers now uh, make sure your controller layer is also a 3d layer then we'll go inside transform and at the first frame all we'll do is we will create um we'll create some animation so it doesn't have to be the same animation we can just create a simple zoom out animation let's start with that and uh, let's just set it to 100 so we have this simple animation of zoom out Okay, and then we're gonna select these two keyframes. We we'll con can convert these to manual bezier to give it a smooth, to give it a smooth motion. And then we can also create uh, a rotation keyframe, and we can move forward in time, and we can change that to something like negative um, forty. We can select these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier. And then obviously. Uh, if uh, you can create a full complete um, a rotation if you want you can do that as well uh, let's just do that so something like that and this should be a manual bezier keyframe as well so uh, there we have it a pretty simple animation um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.